He's enjoying prayer. We're consistent in our prayer. We don't just get up for Fajr in the winter time. Because now Fajr's in is 6.30, 7 in the morning. We have to get up to go to work anyway. We get up in the winter. We get up in the summer, the spring, the fall. If there was another season and we had to get up 1 in the morning, Bismillah, we're going to get up 1 in the morning. These fasts are getting long. We just don't fast in the winter when it's cool and short days. There was a sister my wife was having a conversation with talking about these coming years of Ramadan. It's going to be real long. MashaAllah, the sister says something beautiful. I hope she's not here. She said, my mother did it 30 years ago. I can do it today. It's nothing new every 30 years. It goes in cycle, 33 years to be exact. It comes full circle. So 30 some odd years ago, people who are now, some of them have moved on. Some of them are about to move on. We're fasting from 3.30 or 4 in the morning till 9 at night. And did it with a smile. That's what Allah says do. Bismillah. I'm doing it. Alhamdulillah. I'm going to be challenged for sleep. So we have to forge on. We have to maintain our dignity. We have to stand up and be proud of our religion. To be proud of this man. And we're carrying a light in a world that's increasingly filled with darkness. La ilaha illallah. يا أيها الذين آمنوا اصبروا وصابروا ورابطوا واتقوا الله لعلكم تفلحون. You believers, be patient, persevere. Wear down those who oppose you with your patience. وصابروا. وصابروا. واتقوا الله ورابطوا. And guard the perimeters. And the perimeters aren't just the physical perimeters of the Ummah. In early generations, people would go for ribat. They would go and guard the perimeters. The scholars, the students, the lay people, the people of Sham would go to the Mediterranean coast. They would go to Parabolus and Beirut and Saida and other places. The coast of Philistine. And there were fortresses set up and they would just be on guard. Because the Crusaders were coming in ships. Even in an earlier era, Imam Shafi'i, rahimahullah, went for ribat on the coast of Alexandria in Egypt when he was in Cairo near the end of his life. He was severely sick. He would go to the frontiers, to guard the frontiers. But now there are other frontiers we need to guard. That's not relevant for us. We need to guard the frontiers of our faith, which are being assaulted from every direction. The assault is coming from every direction. We have to be on guard. We're all be too. Be on guard. We can't just drift through life like a feather in the breeze. We have to live with a purpose. And living with a purpose means that there's something that we're carrying that we need to protect. And that will give you a purpose. You understand, I have to protect my religion. I have to protect my faith. It's under assault. And some people, because they're not on guard, they're being knocked off. Say, so what happened to brother so-and-so? What happened to sister so-and-so? Oh man, they left this land. They, they're gone. We weren't on guard. We have to be on guard. Be on guard. And be mindful of Allah in order that you will be successful. So this is the key to success. Patience, persevering. That's an aspect of istiqamah. To keep going like that rabbit with the drum. No, keep going. Ever ready. Ever ready Muslim. It just keeps going and going. And that's the Muslim. You see some of the brothers with gray beards. They've been at it 30, 40 years. Talk to them. They never waver. And Allah Ta'ala mentions in the Quran, مِنَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وِجَالٌ صَدَقُوا مَا عَهَدُوا اللَّهَ عَلَيْهِ That amongst the believers, there are men and women also 
who are faithful in the covenant they've convened with Allah. They're faithful in the covenant they've convened with Allah. And they've never, never, never changed. مِنْهُمْ مَنْ قَضَى نِحْبَةً Amongst them are those who have fulfilled their covenant with the ultimate sacrifice. They've given their lives. وَمِنْهُمْ مَنْ يَنْقَضِرُ And amongst them there are those who are just waiting. And while they wait, they keep persevering. وَمَا بَدَّهُ تَبْدِيلًا And they never change in their resolve. They forge on, they persevere, they go forward. So we pray that Allah Ta'ala gives us that kind of strength and that kind of endurance and that sort of perseverance. إنه على كل شيء قدير وإن سبحانه بالحمد جدير وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا الله تعالى reminds us in the Quran يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تقوموا كالذين نصوا الله فأنساهم أنفسهم أولئك هم الفاسقون Oh, you believers, don't be like those who forgot about Allah and He caused them to forget about themselves. These are they who are, who lose their moral compass. Fasikun. We say in English, we say, that person has no moral compass. That's a fasik. A person with no moral compass. So they don't know where they're going in life. They don't know which road to walk on. They don't know which road will lead them to good. And that's what the Sharia is. Sharia is a road that leads to water. So it's a path that leads to benefit. And for a believer, it's a path that leads to, to paradise. Those who strive for our sake, we guide them in our paths. And those paths lead to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if the path doesn't lead to good, it's not a sharia. If the path doesn't lead to water, it's not a sharia. And water gives what? It gives life. Ya ayyuhalladina amu stajibu lillahi wa li rasooli ila da'akum ila ma'ihiyikum. O believers, respond to the call of Allah and His Messenger when they call you to that which gives you life. So if it leads to death and destruction, it's not Sharia. If it leads to wanton, reckless, purposeless, nihilistic violence, it's not Sharia. But if it leads to life, if it leads to reformation, if it leads to vision, if it leads to, to, to cooperation, if it leads to brotherhood and sisterhood, if it leads to cooperation between people, that's a Sharia. And it gives life. Not death. We have to explain these things to people. We have to explain these things to people. Mu'min. The affair of the believers is amazing. In the hadith, if good befalls him or her, they thank Allah. If they're tested with hardship, they patiently persevere, and it's all good. But something else is ajib in this era. How Muslims sit back and allow ourselves to be trampled on. That's Haji. Don't say anything, don't speak up, don't do anything. And then when some people do something, it's totally counterproductive. We have every, every, you want a struggle? I'll mention a struggle. Anytime anything is mentioned positively in the media about Muslims or Islam, you have these uh, right-wing bloggers come and dump all these negative comments.